everyone, it's Mrs. Toma. I'm going to do a review of how to tell time with you guys today. We learned about how to tell time in school just a while back, a couple weeks ago. So we want to review this together just so this is still fresh in your minds and that we're not forgetting what we had learned. So let's begin. Here's a picture um, of just a regular clock. We've seen this in our classroom. This is probably in your home. You can see this in stores. Um, it's just clocks are everywhere we go. So we have the little hand and the big hand. And remember, the little hand is for the hour and the big hand is for the minutes. And inside the clock, we have numbers 1 through 12. And outside, we have, we skip count by fives. So we have 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. But we don't write 60 minutes, we just write 0, 0 when we're telling time. And remember how we talked about this in school, we said inside hours, outside minutes, inside hours, outside minutes, inside hours, outside minutes. So that's just something to repeat to help you so that you don't mix up um, when we're writing time. Another quick review is just like how I said, there's 12 hours on the clock. So we have the day it's broken up, even though there's 24 hours in a day, it's broken up into 12 hours for the morning, which is a.m., and 12 hours for night, which is p.m. There's also 60 minutes in one hour. That's why we skip count by fives. And there's also 60 seconds in one minute. So here is a practice problem that we'll do together. So it says, what time is it? Um, right up here, I have a, a separate clock just to show us the minutes that are outside that can help us when we're telling time. So remember, inside hours, outside minutes. So now we're looking at this clock. Little hand hour, big hand minutes. So I always look for my hour first. So I'm looking for my little hand. It's by the 12. So I know it's going to be 12. I'm looking for my big hand for my minutes by the 3. But I don't say it's 12, 3 o'clock. I have to know the outside, which are minutes. So if it's pointing at the 3, I know over here it's 15. So my time will be 12, the colon, which are the two dots, 15. So that's the time, 12, 15. Let's go to the next one. Again, we're going to look for the little hand to start off for the hour. And over here, it's pointing right at the 9, so I know it's going to be 9. The big hand for minutes, it's pointing at the 1, but it's not 9, 1 o'clock. Look up here to see what does one mean for minutes. Oh, that's a five. So it's nine colon oh five. Now we wouldn't write nine colon five because that's not how we read time. It would be nine oh five. Next one. So we're looking at this one and I'm looking to see where's the hour hand, which is the little hand. It's pointing right at the 2, so I know it'll be 2 o'clock. Now, where's my minute hand? My minute hand is also right by the 2, so it's not going to be 2, 2 o'clock. Looking over here, 2 is 10, so it'll be 2, 10. Let's go to the next one. Now, over here, same process, start with our first little hand. Remember, inside hour, outside minutes. I have my little hand, it's pointing at seven, so I know it'll be seven. My big hand for minutes is pointing at the 12. But don't get this confused, it will not be seven twelve, And it will also not be 60. It's not gonna be seven sixty o'clock. We will write this as seven colon zero zero. So remember, even though there's 60 minutes in an hour, we don't write it at 760. The 60 is also a zero, zero. 
Next one, I'm looking for my little hand again. It's by the 10. My big hand for minutes is by the six, but it's not 10, six o'clock. My six represents 30, for 30 minutes. So it's 10 colon 30. So those are the, um, that was the last practice problem. Um, this was just a little quick review just to get your minds thinking about how to tell time just so you guys don't forget the basics of what we learned in school. Um, I hope this was a good refresher for you guys um, and feel free to practice going through this um, just to review the hours, the minutes, um, the different hands of the clock, inside hour, outside minutes. We'll also be posting up different resources for you guys to use um, and interactive games for telling time. I hope you guys enjoyed this.